Okay, continuing on today with our Laplace transform playlist, we just wanna find the Laplace transform of sine of AT. And to get started with this, I'm just gonna use, again, we'll use our definition of the Laplace transform, which puts it in terms of an integral. For our f of t in this integral, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use sine of AT. So let me just write this out in terms of an integral. So what we're trying to do is we wanna get a formula for this Laplace transform, and it's gonna be a function in terms of S, and all we need to do is just evaluate this integral, noticing we have that S right there. So for this one, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna use integration by parts or the DI method. And what I'm gonna do is differentiate, we could, we could do this one either way probably, but I'm gonna differentiate sine of AT and we'll integrate E to the minus ST and we'll do this a few times. So like first, when I differentiate here, this is gonna give me A cosine AT and then here integrating e minus st, this is gonna give me e to the minus st over minus s. Then we'll just do it again. This is gonna give me a minus sign, sine at. We pull out another a, we're gonna have an a squared in front. This one, we integrate this, we're gonna have e to the minus st. We pull out another minus s, we get just s squared in the denominator here. One thing I wanna do before we continue, I'm gonna use this notation, capital F of s, to notate the solution for our Laplace transform of the function we're looking for, sine of at, we'll use it here too. So this is gonna be, we'll call this capital F of S and this is our goal or the thing that we wanna find. So then we'll have part of our solution here on the diagonals and we can factor some things out. Like what I think I can do is I can factor a minus E minus ST up because we have, the, we have that in both terms and they're both gonna be negative. So for our first term, it's just gonna be sine at over S and then for this second one, we're gonna have plus a cosine at over this s squared. And this is gonna be evaluated from zero to infinity. And then this last part's gonna be an integral. So for this integral, the a squared and the s squareds are constant. So I'm gonna, we have our minus sign, we can factor, we can pull an a squared over s squared out front of the integral. And then the rest of it's gonna be e to minus st times sine at dt. But the thing to notice, this integral here is exactly the same as this integral here, our f of s. So we can just call this, we can label this one f of s, but it's the same exact thing. So now we can go ahead and try to evaluate this. So first evaluating this first part at infinity, we don't have to worry too much about sine and cosine because those are varying between minus one and one. It's not gonna matter much when we plug in infinity here. But as long as we put this condition here, like we've done in previous videos, that s is greater than zero, with that condition, we end up with like e to the minus infinity, and that's going to zero. So this first piece, the whole thing is just going away to zero. But then evaluating at zero, we're gonna to need to be more careful with that one. So we're gonna have minus in front. This is gonna become e to the zero. Then plugging in zero and sine at, we're gonna end up with sine of zero over s plus a cosine of zero over s squared. And then let me bring down the rest of this just so we can keep track. So we're gonna have our minus a squared, s squared, but I'm just gonna write this as our f of s. Then we'll try to simplify this thing. e to the zero is just one. Minus times minus gives me a plus here. Sine of zero is just zero, so that's going away. But cosine of zero, this is just one. So out of this whole mess here, all we have left is a over s squared, and then we have this minus a squared over s squared f of s. But now at this point, we're really close. We have our f of s that we wanna find on both sides of this equation. What I can do is just add a squared over s squared f of s on both sides. So bringing this term onto the left side of the equation, we're gonna have f of s plus a squared over s squared f of s just equals this a over s squared piece. But then I can factor an f of s out of this. So we'll have f of s is one plus a squared over s squared. But now for this one right here, let's just get a common denominator. I'm gonna write this one as s squared over s squared. So then what we're gonna have is f of s, adding these together with the common denominator, we get s squared plus a squared over s squared. Now in order to isolate f of s, let's just multiply by s squared over s squared plus a squared on both sides. Everything's gonna cancel out over here on the left side. s squared and s squared is gonna cancel over here. And so for our solution for this thing, all we're left with over here is a over s squared plus a squared. And we just need to remember this condition, s greater than zero. Okay, that's it, Laplace transform of sine at. Thanks for watching, have a good day.